Hey guys, how's it going? I'm in my kitchen again in Ridgewood, New York, and uh, this is my fiance's bike. I built this myself. I bought this Pinarello 60.1 Dogma frame off of eBay. And uh, I'm trying to get my fiance into road cycling, and what better way to do that than to build her an absolutely beautiful bike. Uh, this is equipped with full Dura-Ace, 7800 that I kind of cannibalized from one of my commuter bikes. Uh, as of now, it's kind of in a very pro setup for her, and I mean, it's got a very long stem. Uh, I bought this stem because it matches with the most seat post and the most handlebars. Uh, and when I bought it on eBay, and the picture it appeared to be a lot shorter, this is a 120 millimeter stem length, and uh, it's absolutely too long for her. Um, it looks awesome. So uh, I figured I would swap it out for something that's gonna make her a bit more comfortable. And uh, this came in the mail today. This is a Data Elementi. Hey baby, how are you? Cat's just walking all through the video. This is a Data Elementi. Zero two. It's black. It's murdered out. I tried to find the red and white one because I think it matched with this bike a bit better. But I couldn't find it in the 80 millimeter size that I was looking for. So this will have to do. It'll look fun. So you can see here how much drastically shorter it'll be. And uh, I think it'll be a lot more comfortable for her. I could even flip it. You know, most stems, you, you know, are kind of at an angle. And you could flip them upside down for a more, uh, you know, more reachable kind of position. So, today I'm going to be popping that Johnny Boy off and replacing it with this guy. Changing stems is a relatively straightforward job. Pretty much all you have to do is, you know... Unsecure these bolts, pop the handlebars off, let them hang. Uh, unsecure these bolts, take the stem cap off, pop it off, pop the new one on. And uh, we're gonna be doing that today. I've got my tool bag out, all my tools very organized. My kind of like quick go-to bag. With all my Allen keys and torque wrenches, this black one, so let's open her up. Gonna need this. Pedro's Allen Key set. Pedro's products are great. I do recommend them. They're a lot cheaper than Park Tools. Uh, yeah. All right. So let's go ahead and get this done. That's a guy. I kind of never made a video like this before. I guess I'm expected to banter a little bit. Oh, by the way, it's it's recommended to you kind of work diagonally so you don't put too much stress on one bolt or on the handlebars. Uh, these are a most aluminum. Xylon bar. You know, kind of just work around the bolts. I'm a very by the books kind of bike mechanic. You know, I use a torque wrench on absolutely everything. Uh, you know, I have a lot of expensive bike components that are made of carbon fiber and really don't want to damage them. All right, it's getting loose already. I'm just gonna go ahead and pop the whole face plate off. Right. You know, this is a nice stem. You know, I'm kind of 
sad to see it go from this bike because it, you know, I bought it because it matched so well. Color, uh, just, you know, I think this is suit her so much better. This is pretty difficult to do when you're holding the camera with the other hand. Alright, that's out. That's out. That's out. That sound means that. Alright, when you do this, you can kind of just let the handlebars hang. It's not a big deal. Uh, I've never been so unlucky to lose pieces. But a bolt definitely went into the closet there. Alright, so next step is we're gonna uh, take these steer tube clamp bolts off. And just like with the faceplate clamps, we're going to kind of work them off uh, little by little so as to not put too stress on, uh, too much stress on the bolts and the steer tube, which is carbon fiber. We don't want to crack that. I like these Pedro Allen keys with like the kind of rounded ends there. You can just pop them in there. You can kind of twist them from an angle. All right, that should be plenty loose. All right, so now we have to take the stem cap off. Which is, no. It's not a four millimeter Allen key, it's a five millimeter, I think. All right, this is the one-handed bike mechanic. Check this shit out. Okay. Brace it with the knee. This is a beautiful bike, by the way. Pretty proud of this build. Maybe I'll do a tour of this bike at the end of this video. All right, got that boy out. Take that stem cap off. All right. And now we should be able to just slide it right off. Sure enough, there it goes. And that's the most... <gasps> what brand is what, what model is this? I don't know. Most 4B. It's cool stem. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, do an unboxing of this data stem. <clears throat> There. Looks like we got some uh, instructions in Italian. Most rock, modern road bike stems and handlebars are of a standardized size. You know, I think this is a one and one eighth inch steer tube. Oh yeah, when screwing around with stems, uh, it's a good idea to, you know, not all stems have the same stack height. So it's a good idea to like reference the stack height you know, before you go fiddling with this stuff, because it's a little too, if it's a little too short, you might have to cut your steer tube down, might have to throw a spacer in. Uh, it's looking like, it's 
Okay. Perfect. Go over. I know, actually. I need to throw a little spacer in there. So, you know, be aware of that. You know, if I just pop this on, uh, you know, there's no way. So the stem cap is what adjusts the preload of the headset bearings. Uh, so if you just screw this on as is and tighten these bolts down, uh, you have no preload on your bearings and you're just gonna be riding around with a rattling headset and you're gonna destroy it. Um, so I'll get back to you guys when I dig around my bags and find a spacer that will fit this. All right, this will be a testament to my bike nerd mechanic demo. Uh, it's a good thing that I keep all this shit laying around. I've got a bunch of spacers here, and we're just gonna try different combinations until I get one. I think if I just pop this on, I'm not sure, like, millimeter measurements of this. But while we're here, we can, we, you know, it's a good idea to inspect your steer tube. Um, looks fine. There's a little scarring, but no ring of death. So let's give this combination a try. Get the data element E, which is a little tight. And you just go roll out the. I gotta figure out my camera situation sooner or later if I'm gonna continue to make these videos. So let's see if this combination of... Alright, so let's see if this combination of spacers will work for us. That'll do just fine. You know, you can have a, you can have a bit of space inside the stem. That's not a big deal. You know, as long as the stem cap is holding the whole cluster tightly against the frame and holding your headset bearings in place there, that's what's important here. And uh, it's looking like that's gonna do the job. And I just noticed that it experience really on. All right. So let's pop that stem cap back on, adjust the preload, and tighten it up. All right, so I screwed that top cap back in. I've got my four millimeter Allen key. I'm gonna pop this faceplate off and put the handlebars through. You know, if these bars weren't already assembled, you can kind of just like slide them through the faceplate there and then tighten it down. Uh, but what I'm gonna have to do now is just pop this faceplate off. I've never owned any Data products before. Um, this appears to be a nice stem. Maybe I should have weighed it before I eagerly put it on this bike. Uh, but I pretty much went for Data because it's Italian and this is an Italian bike. And aside from the Dura Ace, everything else on it is. So I will get back to you guys when I've finished that. All right, guys, we're back. So I've reassembled the faceplate of this stem with the bars in them. Uh, even with two hands, it was kind of a pain in the ass. Uh, you know, before you torque it down, now's the perfect time to kind of adjust the position of your handlebar. Uh, you know, obviously make sure it's centered. Uh, I kind of have the bars tilted up a little bit so the hoods are reachable. And also I tend to kind of just like keep them at the same angle of the stem just for aesthetic sake as well. I kind of just always find myself doing that. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, break out the torque wrench and 
uh, torque it up. All right, so this is my torque wrench. It's nothing too crazy. It's a Husky. I got it from Home Depot. It's like 40 bucks. Um, now, most stems kind of have the torque spec printed on them somewhere. Uh, here's the torque spec for the steer tube clamp. All right, they tend to be down there. Let's see if I can read that. Torque spec, five new meters. And most of them generally are five newton meters. And I think that's safe for carbon fiber bars, which these are not. These are like the Zylon aluminum 60.1s. All right, so let's pop out the four millimeter Allen head. These are pretty cheap. Allen key bits. I don't remember how much I paid for them. I think that's it. All right, guys, so I have my torque wrench all set up. The four millimeter Allen key in there set the five Newton meters. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and tighten these bolts up. And just with Anything with like multiple pinch bolts in it like this, you know, kind of work. And you're gonna tighten it halfway and work around. Don't put too much stress on one bolt. That one's kind of a pain in the ass to get to because of the shifter cable. None of these have clipped yet. Wow. Like, yep, there it goes. That one clipped. Five Newton meters. Not sure how many inch pounds that is. Well, it's really not a good idea to do all this bike maintenance stuff with one hand. All right, that one clipped. That one clicked, and now I'll just bottom one pain in the ass. Look at the fat, folks. All right, folks, so that face plate is all torqued up and good to go. Now we'll use this opportunity. Well, the stem bolts are still loose to kind of make sure these handlebars are on straight. I don't really have a technique to doing this. I kind of just eyeball it until it looks good. And with tightening down this uh, stem cap, which you definitely do before your pinch bolts here, so you're doing two things here. You're making sure those handlebars are straight, but you're also adjusting your preload for your headset bearings. So let's get that five millimeter Allen key and get to it. All right. It's looking pretty good. What do you think, folks? So this stem cap doesn't have the torque spec because the goal here is not to tighten this down securely. It's to tighten it down enough so that your headset doesn't rattle around in your frame, but you're still able to turn it freely. So, and this kind of takes a little fiddling with and a little experience helps. What I like to do <laughs> is put my Allen keys in my mouth. What I like to do is take the front brake, squeeze it down a little bit, and kind of rock the bike back and forth to see if the headset rattles around. It's feeling pretty good. And to make sure the handlebars still turn freely. And it's feeling pretty good, folks. I didn't have to do much there. I think I just got lucky. All right. 
give it an extra turn just in case. I'm really looking at the bars could be straightened a little more. Yeah, it's feeling good. All right. I like to do this seated on the bike top tube just so I can you know clearly see how straight those handlebars are cool the preload feels good it's looking straight let's go ahead and do up those pinch bolts you know finger tight and then we'll tor torque them down so it holds the stem onto the steer tube is not the stem cap it's the pinch bolts Constantly eyeballing you know, how straight those handlebars look. So we'll go back and forth, get these finger tight. They seem a little tighter than those stem bolts are. All right, we'll break out that Allen key. Works back for these boys are five newton meters. This is one of the most important torque specs on the whole bike because if you over tighten these, you will crack your steer tube and render your bike absolutely dangerous to ride. We don't want to do that. This would be expensive as fuck to fix your bike. And your dentist bill would be pretty expensive too. One-handed bike mechanic. Full effect. Torquing down some stem bolts. We'll get back to you folks. Alright guys, both of those pinch bolts are clicking. Uh, and ostensibly we are finished you can step back and appreciate your work now i think it looks pretty good on the bike you know i definitely think the most stem looked a bit better uh and the red and white data stem would have looked better but hey what are you gonna do uh before you can really say you're finished it's a good idea to double check that headset bearing again stands over your bike grab that front brake rock it back and forth and she's tight no rattle i kind of bounce the front wheel up and down a little bit to listen out for rattle observe the straightness of your handlebars and appreciate your good work That is how you replace a stem on a road bike. So I think with this shorter stem here, my fiance would be a lot more comfortable on this bike. She'll feel a lot less stretched out. Uh, the brake levers will be easier for her to reach. Uh, so this is all for the good.